Thanks for joining us. A Twin Cities man is wanted by federal authorities accused of using his businesses as a front to distribute drugs. Uh, the indictment filed in U.S. District Court in Minnesota laid out 46 counts against the former owner of El Perion restaurants. The cantinas are located in Egan, Long Lake, and Lakeville. According to court documents, the former owner used the restaurants to hide his criminal enterprise. U.S. Marshals are looking for Aldo Escoto, the former owner of the restaurants. Our Reg Chapman has been going through that indictment. Uh, Reg, what would you find inside? Well, Frank, the 22-page indictment follows the inner workings of Aldo Escoto's six-year business. Not the business known for selling Mexican cuisine, but the business of laundering money, harboring and employing illegal workers, and selling meth, cocaine, and marijuana. Federal authorities are trying to catch up with Aldo Escoto. This federal indictment claims Escoto used his three Mexican cantinas as a front for criminal activity. According to court documents, Escoto was involved in a six-year-long drug operation that moved marijuana, cocaine, and methamphetamine from California to be sold in Minnesota. He is also accused of hiring undocumented workers and housing them in properties he bought with drug money. The indictments call for the forfeiture of four houses in Egan and Lakeville, as well as several luxury cars, all believed purchased with drug money. Escoto was also charged with laundering money. Uh, the owners have nothing to do with this individual. Luis Kerr, a consultant for the new owners of El Parion restaurants, say it's a new beginning for the group of restaurants. As soon as the closing comes about, we're going to apply for a new liquor license, and the style and quality of the food are still going to continue the same. But we just have to stress that we have nothing to do with this individual. CARE says all three locations, Egan, Long Lake, and Lakeville, have new owners who knew nothing about the former owner's activities. There's no undocumented persons working at the restaurants. As far as we know, uh, there's no claims against the restaurant. For now, CARE says the new owners are focused on cooking great Mexican cuisine that keeps people coming back. Now, if convicted, Escoto would also have to forfeit more than $100,000 in cash confiscated from three of the properties he purchased. Right now, Aldo Escoto is a wanted man, Frank. Uh, yeah, Reg, uh, I know the restaurants are popular. Are they all three open right now? Well, that's, yeah, all three of the restaurants are open. And from what we could tell, customers continue to come in and eat the food. Each restaurant has a new owner, and all three say they are focused on selling quality food and abiding by the law. And they think that guy's in Minnesota, or they don't know? They have no idea if he's in California or if he's gone to Mexico, Honduras, or Nicaragua, some of the places that he got some of those illegal workers to work for him. Interesting. All right, thanks, Reg.